Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release in Windows 11 24H2. Of course, for those of you who don't know, Windows 11 24H2 has a main release, but only for dedicated computers, those being the Copilot Plus PCs and so on, but it can be easily tested. And I'm, of course, doing videos on that also so that you are up to date with what is happening inside Windows 11 24H2 on the release preview channel or on the main release. So in this video, we're talking about the build 261. 100.1301 for version 24H2, of course, or the build code KB5040529. In this video, we're going to talk about what new features are starting to roll out to the Windows 11 24H2 main release. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So Microsoft is pretty much starting to roll out a lot of new features inside this build. So first of all, of course, we have the new emoji. 15.1 related to the start menu we have the new start menu account manager and also you can now drag pinned start menu apps to the taskbar to pin them automatically here as easy as that and then you can easily unpin them inside settings and then windows backup if you expand remember my preferences windows will now back up many of your sound settings if you have selected other windows settings from the drop down in the lock screen we're getting sports traffic and finance content alongside with weather and you can enable this by going to settings personalization and then lock screen. Also in the file explorer address bar, we are now able to drag and drop files. So for example, I can drag a file to another location really easily and it will be moved to that location. Again, related to settings, we're getting the new game pass recommendation card on the settings homepage. Inside, inside accounts, a new linked devices, a new linked devices page, which you can use to find, repair and manage devices that are signed in with your Microsoft account. And also you have a add now button for a recovery phone number or a recovery email that you can use to never lose the access to your Microsoft account. And there are also some dialogues that were changed. For example, the rename your PC dialog was changed alongside with the change time and date to match the Windows 11 design principles. We have a lot of changes related to Windows Share. So for example, if I select a file and then try to share it, we're going to have a lot of new changes here. For example, we have a new feature that stops you from closing the share window by clicking outside of it. You'll now have to click inside of it. Also, you can now generate QR codes for web page URLs and cloud files. You can also send emails to yourself from the Windows Share window and directly to Microsoft Teams channels and group chats. And of course, you have this new copy button that allows you to copy a file before sharing it really easily. Related to the task manager in this build, we're getting the units changed for the DDR speed from megahertz to MT per second. Task manager releases process handles more quickly when it stops the process. It also should be more reliable and it also affects the sort order of processes and this will make performance to be better when you change the order. Also, Task Manager should now be more accessible by improving keyboard focus, tab key navigation, text scaling, the readout of items by screen readers, and also high contrast heat map and more. Also, this update makes resizing the Task Manager window when you grab it from the top of the window, so I think that is pretty nice. And ejecting USB devices using the safely remove hardware option fails. This occurs when Task Manager is opened, and this should be fixed right now in this build. Also, related to the widgets icon, the widgets icon on the taskbar is no longer pixelated or fuzzy, and we also have a larger set of animated icons in this build. We're also getting the new PC Manager app to devices in China, but of course this can be installed on any device. Related to the share button on USB controllers, the bottom might not work with Game Power. Also, you can now use OneDrive as a remote app in Azure Virtual Desktop. And there are a few more fixes that are applied in this build, but you can check all those out in the article below if you're interested. Of course, in this build, Microsoft is also updating the Windows Services stack so that you can install and get all the Microsoft updates reliably. And the good news is that Microsoft is not currently aware of any issues in this update so we don't have any known issues and you can install it really easily if you have Windows 11 24H2 installed. So this is basically pretty much all there is to it to this latest Windows 11 update for the main release for Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.